एवरीवन सो वेलकम टू अचीवर्स एकेडमी एंड लेट्स कंटिन्यू आर सीरीज ऑफ टी एस पी एस सी ग्रुप फोर सेक्रेटेरियल एबिलिटीज पेपर टू ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन प्रेजेंटेड बाई मी शिवांगी श्रीवास्तव सो टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस द रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस पेपर एंड फ्यू ऑफ द पैरा जम्बल्स सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू सॉल्विंग द पैरा जम्बल सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन most of the sharks are not ferocious sharks live in all the oceans of the world on the other hand they are mostly okay so try it yourself 45 seconds or 30 seconds you just have to uh, see ki all the options have different first statement c d A and B. So you just have to find out the first statement. We cannot start with D. We cannot start with on the other hand. So left with two option. Most of the sharks are not ferocious. Sharks live in all the oceans. So in the B option, we are introducing some animal name of person, place, animal or thing. So we will start with B option. B D A C. Sharks live in all the oceans. They they are found. They denote sharks. Plural noun. Plural pronoun. They are found mostly in subtropical and tropical waters. Waters means ocean. Water bodies. Most of the sharks are not ferocious. On the other hand, there are a number of sharks which have killed swimmers. Ferocious means wild. Wild. Next question. Okay. Snails like to sleep during cold and dry weather. They have no inside shells, only a soft body and a big shell which they use as a house. In the B statement we are talking about the accommodation of snails. In A we are talking about area of interest of snails. Snails live on mountains in deserts in forests in towns. French grow, boil, and eat two fifty million of them every year. So in A, B, C, obviously we are stating the specification of snails. Like, what are the area of interest? What are their? Um, how are they? How are they? Uh, how do they adapt? You know, where do they live? These things. And in D, it's totally different. Uh, things are there, like uh, French means. the people who lives in france they eat them so d has to be at the end has to be at the end d is the conclusion so we are left with two options a and c starting with a and starting with c so th this is a confusion confusion ki should we start with a because in a snails are there in c also snails are there so okay snails like to sleep snails live on mountains in deserts in forests and towns i think c and b is a paired because in both c and b statement we are uh, talking about uh, how do they live where do they live so they live on mountains and uh, they use uh, you know they have a big shell which they use as a house to live in so c and b is a paired one so just try to find out c b we found in option number 2 so we have to start with option number c snails live on mountains they have no inside shell they have a big shell which they use as a house snails like to sleep during cold and dry weather and the french grow boil and eat them next it's very easy i think 
I take lunch, I return in the evening, I go to school, my name is Anil. Obviously, my name is Anil will come in the first. D should be the starting statement. D should be the starting statement. I, my name is Anil. I go to school in the morning, 9 a.m. Chronology, first of all, 9 a.m. will come. I return in the evening. First of all, he will go and then he will return. And then he will take lunch. A, I take lunch at around 1 p.m. Easiest of all. Next. He explained. He is third person pronoun. It has to be paired with some name of something. Thomas Alva Edison was a great scientist. He has a cook. A cook. By the time he returned, the scientist was boiling the watch and looking at the egg. The cook had to go out for some time. Obviously, the starting statement will be. And it will get paired with D. Why? B's first statement because we have introduced some person name of some person place animal or thing so name of person has been introduced he has a cook and the cook indefinite article then definite article so bd where do you find bd bdac cook had to go out for some time he explained the procedure of boiling the egg and went away by the time he returned the scientist was boiling the watch and looking at the egg next after all, he was a scientist. Okay, when I entered his house, his sister asked, his, we have to introduce some person, hai na? his will get paired with some other name of noun. Hai na? I had a lot of work to do and went to the party after the completion of work. I was a little late. I was late by a day. One of my friends invited me to his birthday party. So D is uh, the starting of any incident. Ki one of my friends invited me to his birthday party and D has, 2 has D as its first statement. So let's see the sequence. I had a lot of work to do. Went to the party after the completion of work. I was a little late. When I entered the house, his sister asked. His whose? Friend's sister. Why didn't you attend the party last night? Oh, he was late by a day. He said, I was late by a day. He, he, he thought ki I was a little late. But he was actually late by a day. So D, B, A, C. Next. Next question. You just have to look for name of person, place, animal or thing or first person pronoun. Third person pronoun cannot be your first statement ever. Third person pronoun, third person pronoun, third person. What are the third person pronoun? He, she, it or they. These cannot be your first statement. First statement cannot be. It cannot be the first statement. Jaswant completed his intermediate course. So B has to be first statement. Now, find out the answer. He wants to study engineering and he so wrote IITJ examination. He got good rank in IIT entrance exam and now he is studying in IIT Bombay. First of all, first of all, he will write the examination. Then he will get rank and then he will start studying. Yeah. So, the correct answer is what B D C A 
Jaswant completed his intermediate. He wants to uh, study engineering. He wrote engineering exam. He got good marks, and now he is studying in IIT Bombay. Next. Its blood showed. Its. You cannot start with its. You have to write first of all whose. Thus it was confirmed. So thus uh, generally comes at the end. So A has to be in the end. Which cuts th three options. C, B, D, A. Thus A has thus. So it has to be at the end. Thus hence therefore that's why these things come at the end let's see the sequence of c b d a physicians and others worked continuously to find out the causes of malaria ronald ross first of all i am writing generic line physicians and others and then we are specifying a name of a person name of a scientist physician ronald ross conducted a series of experiment on the different kinds of mosquitoes in order to find out the traces of the parasite Two years did not yield any result. At last he found a species. A, a species means singular noun. Species is a singular noun. Its blood showed common qualities. Its is also singular pronoun. Uh, showed common qualities with the bloods of uh, blood of malaria patient. Thus it was confirmed. So the correct answer is C, B, D, A. Next. But one day he happened to hear a famous professor of mathematics lecture at the university. He got interested. Young Galileo wanted to study medicine and became a doctor. So he took up the study of... Obviously, name of some person will come first because all other options had has have a like transition word, third person pronoun, third person pronoun. We will start with C and we have only one option starting with C, C, A, B, D. Young Galileo wanted to study medicine and become a doctor. But one day he happened to hear a famous professor of mathematics lecture at the university. He got interested in the mathematics. So he took up the study of mathematics and physics in the university. Next. Such people are colorblind. These people's are, people are unable to pick out red. To most of us, a box, box, post box is red. But there are people who would not agree that it's red in color. Solve it yourself. I told you, this, that, these, those, such cannot be your first statement. He, she, it, they cannot be your first statement. You cannot start with such. You cannot start with these. You cannot start with but. Only one option is left. To most of us, a post box is red. We are. Uh, we have used a noun, a post box. C. We need C. C, D, A, B. But there are people who would not agree that it's red in color. Red will get uh, paired with red. Such people. There are people, people will get, will get paired with such people, people, such people. These people are unable to pick out red as a separate color, color blindness. Next. I 
again this is very easy so i don't want to waste any time you have only 20 to 25 seconds i told you many a times ki first option cannot be third person pronoun he 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 these statements cannot be your first statement your first statement has to be name of some person place animal or thing a will be your first statement a will be your first statement a fox saw a large bunch of grapes in the vineyard he wanted to eat the grapes grapes will get connected with grapes he returned and said the grapes are sour he jumped at them again and again but it was of no use okay there is some problem there is some problem it should be a c b d because d will come at the end the grapes are sour he jumped at them again and again but it was of no use yeah first of all he will jump and then he will not be able to get the grapes then he will say grapes are sour so i think there is some mistake a c b d is the correct answer a c b d is the correct answer next first statement cannot be he she it or they just eliminate c the shopkeeper told her first person cannot be her first person has to be noun one day a lady saw a mouse so first statement has to be b b d c a she was much afraid of mice a mouse plural of mouse is mice so this mouse will get paired with mice so she ran out of her house she went to a shop and brought a mouse trap shop and then shopkeeper that if she put some onion in it she can catch mice yeah so how uh, we have solved this question uh, c and d cannot be my first statement because it has she then uh, her cannot be the first statement a lady name of something someone so we have to start with b next solve it some passengers jumped off the boat the boat had 20 workers two fell into the river the boatman was a good swimmer and saved them okay so first of all we will introduce the boat the boat had 20 workers b we will start with b two fell into the river is it making any sense uh the boat had 20 worker two fell okay do gir gaye two fell into the river sab passenger jumped off the boat the boatman was a good swimmer and saved them them denotes these two who fell and some passengers who jumped off next solve it first statement has to be name of person place animal or thing person ravi he it cannot be the first statement ravi's father will come later first of all ravi will come then ravi's father will come he fell sorry so first statement will be a a a a b c d ravi found his pen missing one morning he had to prepare some notes and hence stole the pen from his father's shirt pocket ravi's father his father now ravi's father was searching for the pen he felt sorry and gave the pen to his father got it next
Untreated hepatitis causes severe damage to the liver and the patient may go into come, coma and also die. Coma. Inflation of the liver is known as hepatitis. Recent research has aimed at developing a vaccine against hepatitis. It's suggesting some solution. So C has to be in the end. C has to be in the end. Virus is spread by food and water. In first option, B is the first statement. In fourth, D is the first statement. Let's see which can be the first statement. Inflation of the liver is known as hepatitis. Yes, in the whole parajumal, we are talking about hepatitis. So what is hepatitis? It is stated in the B option. So it will be the first statement. Hepatitis. Now I will say, ki, okay, hepatitis is the virus. He the virus is spread by food and water. Untreated hepatitis causes damage to liver. Patient may go into coma. He can also die. Research has aimed at creating, developing a vaccine. So B, D, A, C. Whole parajumal is talking about hepatitis. So you have to deduce the parajumal by the hepatitis term. So it's in B state. Next, next question. Robinson Cruz was a brave soldier. With the help of a ship, he returned home. He was alone. He was shipwrecked. Name of person, place, animal or thing will be the first statement. A will be the first statement. This cuts two options. Robinson Cruz was a brave soldier. Okay. With the help of a ship, he returned home after 20 years. He was alone for 20 years on the island. He was shipwrecked and reached an island. The members of his family thought he was dead. Again, this is easy question. First of all, name of the soldier. Then, he was alone for 20 years on the island. 20 years. He was shipwrecked and reached an island. Members of the family uh, thought that he was dead. Okay. With the help of ship, he returned home. So this has to be the last. Returning home will be the last statement. B would be the last. So first option is the correct option. Now let's read the sequence again. If you're stuck at any uh, option, like which will come at the, at the second position or third position, then change your strategy. Start looking for the last option. Robinson Cruz was a brave soldier. He was shipwrecked and reached an island. Members of his family thought he was dead. He was alone for 20 years on the island. Okay. See, an island, this thing I have missed. Indefinite article, an island, and then definite article. So D will come before C. So D, C is the logical pair. And after 20 years, he returned. Next. One day Fred was coming home from his uncle's house. Okay. Dikes was built to stop the seawater entering the towns or villages in Holland. Okay. There was nobody around its surroundings and so Fred thirst thrust his hand uh, through the hole and stayed till morning. Okay. He knew the danger of the hole in the dike. Okay. Can I start with first? One day Fred was coming home. Let's read the sequence. From his uncle's house. Dykes was built to stop. Now, from where this dykes came? No relation between A and B. No relation between A and B. So this cannot be my answer. We cannot start with D obviously. So cut the first option. 
there was nobody around its surrounding its its is a pronoun okay and so fred no 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 c cannot be the first statement let's read b dikes were built we can start name of something dikes were built it's a something like dam type to stop the sea water entering the town or village in holland one day fred was coming home from his uncle's house he knew the danger of the hole in the dike there was a hole in the dike there was nobody around its surroundings and so fred th thrust his uh, hand through the hole and stayed till morning see here there is a resulting word so so therefore thus that's why these always come in the end c will come in the end b a d c is the correct sequence next now here we have he and here we have name of some person hang sang was educated in the ancient chinese Confuci confucianism he wanted to visit buddhist centers in india particularly nalanda where he got answers for his many questions from buddhist monks so a and b is definitely the paired one so we are finding a and b here here not in this and here Okay, now we have to find out the first statement. There were strong cultural links between China and India. Chinese pilgrims made the perilous trek to India to visit holy place. First of all, trek will be made and then he will visit to India, right? So I think D will come first. There are strong cultural links between China and India. Chinese pilgrims made the perilous trek dangerous to India to visit holy place. Now, this Heng Singh was educated in the ancient Chinese Confucianism. He wanted to visit Buddhist uh, centers, particularly Nalanda, where he got answers for his questions. Right. So, first of all, uh, Trekking, trek will be made and then this person will visit to India and he will find out the answer to his questions. So D, C, A, B is the correct sequence. Next. Okay. Honey bees communicate by way of dancing. If you haven't solved it so far by now, then you can pause the video. And when you are done by solving, then listen to my explanation only. Honey bees communicate by way of dancing in a peculiar way. And it shows that there is a plenty of honey in the flower garden nearby. Honey bees work hard to store honey for winter. Bees march in a line to gather honey. We should learn from honey bees how to cooperate with one another and work hard. Work hard and work hard. B, D is the pair. Uh, this bees will get paired with honey bees. I, I, I told you full form then short form. So if B and D got paired, then I will pair this A and C. Do we have any option like this? A, C, B, D. Yes, we have option. Let's read it. Honey bees communicate by ways of dancing in a peculiar way. They communicate by dancing and it shows there is a plenty of honey in the flower garden nearby. If they are dancing, they show there is a plenty of honey. Bees march in a line to gather honey. Honey bees work hard to store honey. We should learn from honey bee how to cooperate with one another and work hard. Work hard and work hard got paired. BD is the logical pair. In this, there is no BD. In this, there is no BD. In this, there is no BD. Only BD is in this option number 4. Yeah. And the last question. 
okay solve it in one of the statements we have some word which can be in the last only there are uh, two logical pairs i think they try to explain try to find who are they and however comes in the end so c will come in the end only this cuts two option and we are left with only two options we cannot start with d because d has they so only left option is 2 a d b c early astronomers were skilled observers of the night sky they tried to explain what they saw and put forward their ideas about what the universe was like once people mistook that the earth was the center of universe mostly however the universe consists of empty space got it c has however that's why it has to be in the end i told you already in the para jumble lecture ki uh, what are the keywords which uh, which will what are the keywords that help in uh, you know identifying the um, last statement that help in identify the last statement and what are the keywords uh, that come in the first statement so i told you what are the logical pair what are the transition words and now so we have already uh, discussed these things in our para jumble lecture so kindly refer to all those sessions so however will come in the end you know they try to explain who are they early astronomers who were skilled observers they observed the night sky and they tried to explain what they saw obviously a and d are the uh, a and d is a pair and uh, c is the last statement okay so that's it for today we have discussed the complete paper of 2012 english paper i hope you have enjoyed the session and uh, uh take care and have a great day ahead bye bye